Welcome Bible Champ! Today's Bible quiz is about two unusual prophets in the Bible, Elijah and Elisha. Do you think you can answer all 20 questions? You'll have 10 seconds for each question. Are you ready? Let's play! Question 1. What was Elijah's nationality? Was he an Ishmaelite, Canaanite, Tishbite, or Moabite? Elijah was a Tishbite. Question 2. To what king did Elijah say, There shall not be dew nor rain these years, except at my word. Was it King Asha, King Ahab, King David, or King Solomon? The answer is King Ahab. Question 3. What brook did God send Elijah to? Was it Kidron, Elah, Cherith, or Judah? The answer is Brook Cherith. Question 4. Who brought food to Elijah during the drought? Was it the ravens, God, a widow, or an angel? The ravens fed Elijah. Question 5. What did Elijah ask the widow of Zarephath to prepare for him? Was it bread, flour, cake, or pie? The answer is cake. Question 6. What was the name of Ahab's official? who hid 100 prophets in a cave when Jezebel killed the prophets of Israel. Was it Jehu, Obadiah, Balparim, or Zimri? The answer is Obadiah. Question 7. What name did King Ahab call Elijah? Was it the peacemaker of Israel? Prophet of Israel, Troubler of Israel, or Seer of Israel? The answer is the Troubler of Israel. Question 8. How many prophets of Baal were called to Mount Carmel for Elijah's sacrificial challenge? Was it 400, 450, 500, or 550? The answer is 450. Question 9. Why did Elijah flee to Mount Horeb? He was afraid of Jezebel? He was running from God? He was afraid of a fire? Or he was afraid of a flood? The answer is he was afraid of Jezebel. Question 10. Elijah was one of the two people in the Bible that never saw death. Who was the second person that did not die? Was it Elisha, Joel, Enoch, or Samuel? The answer is Enoch. Question 11. Who was the father of Elisha? Was it Zuriel? Shalumiel, Shaphat, or Jehu? The answer is Shaphat. Question 12. When Elijah and Elisha first met, what was Elisha doing? Was he sowing seeds, plowing the fields, sleeping, or shearing the hay? The answer is he was plowing the fields. Question 13. 
Which river did Elisha divide by striking it with Elijah's cloak that was left behind? When God took him, was it River Abana, River Jordan, River Euphrates, or River Chebar? The answer is River Jordan. Question 14. What happened to the boys who mocked Elisha for being bald? Bears mauled them? He prayed for them. They became blind. Or they fled from him. The answer is bears mauled them. Question 15. What did Elisha ask Elijah for before God took him? Was it a bigger robe? A double portion of his spirit, his staff, or his house? The answer is a double portion of his spirit. Question 16. What did Elisha throw into the river to cause the axe head to float? Was it his staff, his cloak, a rock, or a wooden stick? The answer is a wooden stick. Question 17. How did the king's captain die after the siege of Samaria ended, just as Elisha had said it would? Was he eaten by wild bears, trampled to death, fell from the city wall, or poison? The answer is he was trampled to death. Question 18. How did Elisha die? He was shot with an arrow? He was sick? He drowned in a well? Or he was very old? The answer is he was sick. Question 19. What happened to the Moabite who was placed in the grave of Elisha? Was he swallowed up by the earth, turned to stone, vanished, or resurrected? The answer is he was resurrected. And the final question, what miracle did both Elijah and Elisha perform in the exact same way? Was it feeding the 100, raising a young boy? the axe head floating, or ending the famine. The answer is raising a young boy. How did you do? Share your score in the comment section. If you enjoyed this Bible quiz, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for weekly Bible quizzes. Be sure to share this Bible quiz with someone else. Let's learn more about God's Word together. If you're still up for a challenge, there are plenty more quizzes here for you to test your Bible knowledge. Until next time, thank you for watching. Remember, you are God's chosen one and He loves you.